Evening. Uh, we've arrived in Galsby, haven't we, Mum? Yes, we have. <laughs> Always feels really awkward vlogging with someone else in the room, but that's fine. So yeah, basically we've arrived and it was a bit mad because we got here quite late, didn't we? Because what was the reason for that? <laughs> we were in here had about five hours. Here, an hour and a half in queues of traffic. Yeah, lots of traffic, and then we stopped at Perth to get food to bring up as well. So we got here quite late. We got here about nine, maybe. Yeah. And made some dinner. We had some pasta. This was my pasta. <laughs> um, and it was really nice actually. A chicken and parmesan fettuccine. It's lovely. And I've just made a cup of tea. I have just finished setting up some birthday stuff for my brother. Basically, my big brother has turned 30. He turned 30 on the 21st of June. So him and his wife, Ola, and Ola's parents and Ola's sister are all coming over. So they'll probably arrive in the next few hours. So I wanted to do like a little birthday corner for him. So I'm going to show that to you. It's been a bit of a disaster. We had some balloon issues, but we made it in the end. Uh, we lost the big zero, which was a helium one, but we've managed to find a little zero and make it work. And then I bought like a happy birthday balloon thing, but a lot of them have like burst, so it hasn't been the biggest success, but I've made it work. So yeah, I'm gonna finish off making my tea um, and I will grab this camera and I will show you around the birthday corner. Lottie doesn't really know what's going on, to be honest. I think she's a bit confused. She's just like walking about like, where am I? She's down here somewhere, there she is. Uh, so yeah, I'll flip this around and I'll show you what I've got. Okay, so a couple of banners. We've got a 30th birthday, a happy birthday, a big 3 -o that my mum got. Where did you get that mum? So oh, did you? You got it in Glasgow, right? Mm -hmm. And the candles as well? Yes. Yeah, because they're nice. They're silver to match the sort of theme that we're going with. So we've got the big 3 -o. Silver candles, this delicious looking cake from Marks and Spencer. Of course, always Marks and Spencer. It's a loaded chocolate and caramel millionaire's dribble cake. It looks amazing. So that's the, the cake. Um, and then this is a little basket that they had lying out for us when we arrived, which is very sweet. Got a nice bottle of Rioja there that I'm sure my dad will enjoy. Prosecco that you and I will enjoy, Mum, right? Yeah. And a few other things as well. Some coffee for my dad. I don't know what these are. Shortbread, oh, that's nice. And what's this? Golspey Mill Oatmeal. Ah, for porridge. Oh, wow. And I don't know what that is, some sort of dressing. Oatmeal porridge. Yeah. And then a little birthday thing for my brother from one of his friends, some 30 balloons. I've also got some confetti here, which you can probably see that I got at the card factory. So that's like the table. Then over here, we've got a little windowsill. Now, this was the big three, and there was meant to be a big O, but trying to get it in the car, we burst it. So we stopped to get food at Perth and I went into the Poundland and managed to get a little O that you just blow up with air. So we've just squeezed that in there so it sort of works. Um, and that's the Helium 3. And then a couple more balloons, happy birthday banner. This is Prince William, who was born on the same day as my brother, so that's a bit of a joke as to wear that. And then over here, we've got the big happy birthday. You can see that the H and the P have been a bit of a disaster. I tried to repair them, but it's not worked. But never mind, I think you get the point. Um, and this is Jack's big board of all his photos, which is really cute. So you'll spy me in a few of them. So there's me, my twin, my sister, and that's Jack. And then my uncle Robert, who's here as well. And where else am I? I'm definitely in a few more. This is one here of... Me, Sam, Holly, Big Brother Jack, my cousins, Rachel and Beth, and my gran and grandpa. That's my dad's mum and dad. And then this is us at the Himalayas in St Andrews with my dad. And yeah, there's a lot of nice selection. This is my gran as well. This is my mum's mum. And she was a wee gem, and that's us all in the garden. So yeah, this is Jack's little birthday corner, which I think is quite cute. That's my dinner, don't mind that. Um, but I think it's actually worked out really well, which is nice. It's just nice to have a, a little bit of a surprise for him. So yeah, I'm gonna finish making this tea. I'm having a decaf tea because I found that when I was having tea later on at night, I wasn't sleeping very well, I think maybe because of the caffeine. So I got some decaf from Marks and Spencer. So I'm gonna put this tea bag in the bin. I'm gonna go and find some milk for it. And I'm also gonna see if there is a little dessert that I want. So 
if I find one, then I'll show you what I'm having. So I've found a strawberry tart. It's a little m &S number, so I'm going to have that. And I've got my cup of tea, and I'm going to go and just chill out and relax for a bit because it's been quite a busy day. So yeah, I'm going to enjoy this, and I'll catch up with you in the morning for our first day here in Golspie. Okay, I know I said I would see you in the morning, but I thought I would do like a little bit of a sort of like house tour. So obviously we've got this for a week, and it's so that... The Polish family can come over and we can all spend some time together. So this is the kitchen, you'll have seen this table area. And then there's like an island here with some red chairs. And then this is the kitchen. It's probably easier if I show you it like this, right? But it's really nice, it's gorgeous. So, and come out into here. And this is the dining room, which is beautiful really nice i'll show you it from this side this is lovely so then you come out here and that's the living room where my uncle my dad and my mum are and then you go through to a pool room through there and these are the stairs do you like my socks how cute are these and also this is like the biggest mirror ever for taking selfies but yeah so we carry on up the stairs which is very, very cute. And these stairs are quite like the ones that we have at home, actually. And here's Lottie. <laughs> okay, oh my God. <laughs> she just does not get it. Oh my goodness, what is she doing? <laughs> She's totally playing. She's wild, absolutely wild. So in here is the bathroom that I'll be using. Um, two of the bedrooms have en suites there, like the master ones. And then this is the other bathroom that we'll share, which is very, very cute. It's my little bag of stuff. So yeah, that's that. Then my bedroom's in here. I'm sharing with, um, oh, keep that on. I'm sharing with Ola's sister, Agata. So we have a little twin room, which is very, very cute. So this is my bed here when you come in. All my stuff, a bit messy. Mirror, hello. <laughs> and I've put my makeup here as well. And all my jewelry that I was wearing today. My brush, this isn't focusing, is it? Okay, it's focused now. So yeah, all my little bits and bobs here. As I say, this is my little corner. I love this original fireplace, it's gorgeous. And I love this window seat, but do you know what it's missing? It's a little cushion here, so you could literally sit here and read your book. And obviously this is a stunning view during the day. You can only see the tops of it, but it's out to the water. And this is Agata's bed in this corner here. So yeah, this is our little room. And basically there's like a big massive corridor with like rooms off it. So that one there, I'm trying to think if that's the master one. I think this is, yeah. So this is the one that um, Ola's parents are getting, uh, Yarik and Gosha. So they're gonna have in here because it's absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, and what I love about this one is in here. Look at this bath. I'm ridiculously jealous about that bath. How gorgeous is that? Yeah, again, I don't really think we're focusing here, but you get the gist. Beautiful fireplace, big massive shower, gorgeous bath. So this is another twin room in here. Then straight along this corridor is um, my brother and his wife's double bedroom. Then my mum and dad's master bedroom in there with an ensuite as well. Then there are these cute little stairs. And if you go up here, basically my uncle's come to stay. So he's brought his own blow up bed and this is like the perfect spot for it. He's basically got his own little room. There's a chair and he's put his bed out, which is so cute. He's got a sleeping bag because these doors don't actually open. There are three of them, but they must just be storage. But this is like up in the attic. So yeah, it's very cute. So it's currently about 20 past 12. Not sure when they're going to arrive because they just started driving about an hour and a half ago, I think. So they might arrive in the next hour to hour and a half. But we're all going to wait up to see them and then we'll go to bed. So yeah, I'm just going to chill with this little munchkin. And as I said, I will catch you tomorrow for our first day in beautiful Gosby. Good morning, everyone. It's Sunday and People are just starting to wake up, I think. It's just currently Yannick who's up and my uncle at the moment. So I made a cup of tea, it's practically overflowing. I've got a little brioche bun as well that I'm gonna have and I'm just gonna slowly wake up and hopefully everyone will be up soon and I can say hello to them all. Okay, so we're laying out a big breakfast. We've got all sorts, cereal, juicy yogurts, 
and then a good spread of cheese and ham, salami, and all that. <laughs> and uh, quiche with some salmon, some more cheesies, and there are croissants that are coming out, which I am ridiculously excited about because any excuse for a class on I'm up for that um, and I'm gonna have one with Nutella because my mum got me a big jar yay so yeah I'm gonna go finish this off um, and then tuck into some breakfast we have just left the house and basically we're gonna walk into Galsby it's a beautiful day for a walk I've covered myself in sun cream because it's very very hot and the last time I didn't cover myself in sun cream I got burnt so yeah, I'm covered in that. We're just going to walk into Golfsby, which shouldn't be too far, and then have a wander about and possibly have a chippy for dinner. Sorry about the dogs. Anyway, I'm going to go and I will show you Golfsby when we get there. outside the house catching the last of the sun and there are so many bunny rabbits I'm going to try and capture some footage and put them in because it's amazing there's lots of gorgeous ones um, and this morning Ola's dad said that there were kids you know about 30 bunny rabbits running around the garden so that's sweet um, I've got my face painted with the Polish flag because we're just about to watch the game while it started I'm out just capturing a bit of footage before I go in and watch it um, so yeah we're supporting Poland tonight hoping that they're going to win against Colombia I believe it is um, but yeah, we basically went out today, we just had a walk around Golf Bay. It was really nice, just a chill day, because um, it's been quite busy, um, and we're all tired after travelling yesterday. We went and had a couple of drinks, and we went to the beach and sat and had some fish and chips, which you will have seen. Um, but yeah, we're just going to have a chilled one tonight, watch the match. I'm going to head in just now. Um, and yeah, before I do, I'll show you the outside of the house, because it's gorgeous. And this is the outside of the house. We've got a big Scottish flag up there, and it's absolutely beautiful. Well, it was built in, I think it was the 1800s, um, so it's really, really pretty. There are all these flowers on the outside, which you can see. Got a picture here last night because it's such a pretty little area. I just think it's an absolutely stunning house, and it's a wonderful place to be with family and friends for the next four days. Good morning. I'm outside at the plants with the bees. Um, it's a beautiful morning. It's currently just about half past eight and I'm actually dressed this morning because we're going to go for a hill walk after breakfast. So this morning breakfast is strawberries, strawberries? <laughs> no. This morning breakfast is sausages, bacon, egg, croissants, toast, cereal. So I'm going to have a little selection. Then me, my uncle, my big brother and maybe some other people are going to head on up this hill at the back of Galsby for a nice walk. I think it's three to four hours, so we're gonna go and do that, and then afterwards come back, I'll get showered, and we're gonna go to Robin Castle this afternoon. We're heading up Ben, Ben Braggy? Ben what? <laughs> Basically, it's in Golsby. It's a hill that goes up to, what does it go up to, Jack? It goes up to a monument. Goes up to a monument. Mr. Sunderland. Mr. Sunderland. <laughs> Duke of Sutherland. Um, I don't know much about the monument, but there we are. <laughs> I'm really, really sweaty already. <laughs> it's so hot. My brother just told me that was a terrible bit of vlogging. Never mind. <laughs> it's really warm. So I'm going to keep going and then I'll share with you when I'm at the top. Okay, so we're nearly at the top. You can see behind me the most incredible view. Look at that. I don't know if it's really windy and if you can't hear me, but it's absolutely gorgeous. And we're just heading up to the monument now, the Duke of Sutherland, I believe. <laughs> and I'm gonna get a big drink of water at the top because I'm pretty hot. Um, it's really warm and I'm feeling quite sweaty, but it's great fun. And you know me, I just love getting out on a hill. So this is like the perfect morning for me. Says change the magnifier. Mm. Hi, oh, you're in it you as well. Hi, hi, I'm uh, I'm Jack. Sophie, I'm Sophie's you're Sophie's Sophie's brother, hi. and we're at the top of the hill, <laughs> overlooking uh, Golfsby. Uh, so, and and we're just we're just chilling out here. No, there's some other people. What is it? And, and there's Sophie. <laughs> 
and this is my first experience vlogging. Um, so yeah, I. What are you doing, Hakan? Just, just checking out the angles. Never make that noise. So you met my brother. This is the top of the hill. This is Golspie, and it's a pretty good cracking view. So yeah. We're just gonna enjoy this. We're gonna take a picture of us all. Then probably head back down. Actually, I've got some snacks. <laughs> Let me get the snacks out. <laughs> so we have just arrived at Robin Castle. Um, I'm wearing a shirt, which is nice and flowy and lovely, and then some relaxed trousers, which are actually almost their maternity trousers, and have borrowed them for comfort. So yeah, we are gonna head on in and have a good explore. So we're in the garden just enjoying the view. You probably can't hear me because of the water, but look at that castle. Is that not spectacular? It's absolutely gorgeous. I have been wanting to come here for months, so I'm so happy that I made it. It's just a thing of beauty, and it's so nice to just walk along and explore and enjoy the sunshine and enjoy my family's company, and it's just perfect. Honestly, in this moment, I literally can ask for anything more. This is just the nicest day and I'm really excited to go up and look inside it as well and yeah it's awesome. So that's us leaving the castle, Dunrobin Castle, absolutely beautiful, amazing. I think I shot some footage I hope um, and I'll show you once I get home what I bought. So I am back at the house, I've now put on my pyjama bottoms just to go and chill out in around the house and I'll just keep my sandals on and keep this white shirt on. Um, I'm going to take my books down, actually I think it might be downstairs already and I'm going to sit and read outside with Claire because it's still a gorgeous night. This is what we have tonight, just pure sunshine, absolutely stunning. So I'm going to go outside and enjoy that. I wanted to show you what I bought, it's so nice and it's so me because you know me, I love Scotland and I've wanted this forever so let's set this camera here and I will get it out and show you because um, my mum bought this as a gift for Ola, um, my brother's wife and I had admired it and today I just thought, you know what, I'm going to treat myself because the other thing is it's nice to have something as a memory from somewhere that you've been um, so I got myself this stunning sterling silver necklace and it has Scotland, so this is the shape of Scotland and a little heart inside I just think that it's absolutely perfect and it's very me. So actually what I'm going to do is stick it on right now so I can have a little look at it. And I'll always remember that I bought this yet this year in Golspie when we spent lots of time with the family and it was a really, really nice few days. So yeah, I love that. It's the perfect little pendant. I might wear it a little bit higher but I'll fiddle around with it. But yeah, and it came with a little thing inside that said, The heart of Scotland, whether you're from Scotland or a lover of all things Scottish, this pendant will forever be a reminder of where your heart truly lies. And that's very true because I've always said that my heart is in Scotland. I couldn't move away from Scotland. I love it far too much and I would just miss home. I feel when I'm not in this country, I'm not at home, as daft as that sounds. Like obviously I stayed in the Netherlands for half a year and I loved it, but I just felt a little bit homesick so for me it's always going to be Scotland um, and it could be in lots of different areas but I will stay here for the rest of my life. Anyway I'm going to head downstairs and read my book and drink my tea and just chill out. It's been such a lovely day um, doing the walk in the morning and then coming back having lunch and heading off to the castle it's just been absolutely perfect and a brilliant brilliant day and I'm really sad that tomorrow was my last day but I'm going to make the most of it because this has been so nice. Good morning everyone, it is currently Tuesday morning and I'm about to get ready so I thought it would be fun to show you what I'm wearing on my face and also like the toiletries that I brought with me on my little trip as well. You'll see I've got my new little necklace on which is so cute, the little Scotland shape with the heart in the middle. So I'll flip this camera around and I'll show you what I've brought with me. Okay so toiletries and all of that sort of stuff first of all, um, I brought some little cotton pads in this little box which is from the Nomad Factory. If you haven't seen my video about their um, notebook I'll leave that link down below because it's amazing and I'm going to start bullet journaling in it. But yeah I basically brought some cotton pads in there to take off my makeup at the end of the day. Um, this is some Origins 
revitalizing scrub cleanser which I use on my face every morning it's a jing zing one love that and um, I've got my deodorant which this is just amazing like I never ever sweat with this it's the Mitchum 48 hour powder fresh and um, and then I've got my toothbrush there and um, I've got a perfume it's a little mini one um, by Shane Blue and it's the Blood Orange I've got a lot of pills. <laughs> this is some uh, vitamin D that I take. And then I've got my level thyroxine. Um, and then I've got some contact lenses. I don't know if I'll use them actually. I haven't used any yet. But they're there. Um, I've got the Garnier Micellar Water. Which takes off my makeup with the cotton wool pads. It's not going to focus. But you get the gist. Pretty sure everyone's seen it before. Um, and then I've got this Percy and Reed um, Shine and Fragrance Mist which I've been using so I brought that with me to put on my hair. This is the um, body wash I've been using, it's this Ren Atlantic Kelp and Magnesium Anti-Fatigue Body Wash, whatever that is, but it's nice, it smells good. A Vino Hand Cream that I've been using, this is my little mini moisturiser that I'm using at the moment, it's the Origins Jing Zing Energy Boosting Gel Moisturiser, I love this. Um, and then I brought my shampoo and conditioner which was a Philip Kingsley Bodybuilding Shampoo and Conditioner. Then I've just got a razor, I've got a few more contacts, I've got some nail varnish to paint my nails but I never ended up doing that and then brushes for eye makeup on oh, little cotton wool bud things and a nail file. Okay so that's everything in that one, so in terms of makeup I've got my powder brush, this is my bronzer and contour brush, this is my blusher brush as you can tell, um, I've got my EOS lip balm, I love this, it's like a watermelon flavour, then I've got my Real Technique sponge that I put on my foundation with which is here, it's the Estee Lauder Double Wear, um, I've got my mascara, this is really good as a pure mascara, no, Diego de la Palma Cyclone Mascara, uh, this is the Maybelline brow mascara which I use in my gym then I've got my eraser eye by Maybelline which is great for under my eye my concealer area just brightening everything up my pure primer which is really good um, this is my bronzer that I'm using which is bourgeois healthy balance no bourgeois chocolate but chocolate bronzer and then this is the healthy balance powder that i'm using in shade 52 then i've got my blusher i love this blusher it's a kiko one and i've been obsessed with it for months i'm going to be so sad when it runs out because it's just gorgeous it's like the perfect summery color and it's got a mirror which is handy so i've got that and then i've got eye primer which is painterly by mac uh, if i wanted to do eyeshadow i was going to use my naked basics palette then i've got another powder for when my healthy balance one runs out it's nearly done this is a rimmel one to try this time the transparent one couple of lipsticks which I haven't used. I haven't used these either. They are eyeliners for when I do my like eyes with my, not mascara, with eyeshadow and stuff like that. But I probably won't use them. Um, and then some tweezers and a little random contact lens. So yeah, that's everything I have brought. So I'm going to go and paint this face, get it done to go down and have some breakfast. So yeah, I'm going to go for now and I'll catch you in a bit. <laughs> Cheeky jobs. Cheeky jobs. So it is Tuesday morning and I'm going to do a what I eat in a day type video. So I've already made a cup of tea. I've got an Earl Grey here just with some milk in it. Um, and I've also made some toast. I'm having one slice of toast with cheese and ham and one slice of toast with Nutella. So I'll flip this around and I'll show you what I'm having for my breakfast. So this is it. This is very much like a treat breakfast. I don't have Nutella at home. But I'm having it here so it's white bread with Nutella and then white bread with some ham and some cheese. And yeah, I'm going to go and devour this um, and I'll catch up with you at lunchtime. Okay, so we're in the car. Sam, can you put your window up please? <laughs> We're in my brother's car, we're driving to a whiskey distillery, it's called McAllen, is that right? Yes, so we yes. <laughs> So we've booked in for a tour, so there's 11 of us, so we're all going to have a tour around the whiskey distillery and then we're going to go to my mum's friend called Janice, she's having us at her house, where does she actually live though? Close by. <laughs> Close to the distillery. <laughs> Who knows, anyway, we're going to go to that and then go for some lunch and yeah, this is my last day here so I'm just going to enjoy it and just relax and chill out and unfortunately I'm back down the road tomorrow. 
Can you still see it, Sam? Elegant yeah. ladies? No, not here. I can see one <laughs> on that car over there. Something mm. beginning with E towards elegant ladies. <laughs> um, my, my guess was electronic wipers, but apparently this is not a good guess. Oh dear. Um, it's rough over in there. There you go. <laughs> Electric wires, overhead, electric. Oh. It begins with E, Claire, not O. E. Not overhead. <laughs> <laughs> overhead wires. Um, I can see one. You can see one now. I can see another one. <sighs> Exceptional company. That's it, Claire. <laughs> Exceptional company. I don't know if you can see that, but I you can, can definitely one. feel I can it. See another one. Um, Another one? Is it some elderly people? No. Oh, oh, oh man. man. McAllen, McAllen Distillery. The first pillar we talk about is what we call the spiritual home, and that's Easter Elkis House. So the model here on the table is a scale replica of the full size Easter Elkis House down the bottom of the path. I know you didn't have time when you came in to spend a lot of time looking at it. You can't get inside it, but you can walk around it. to make sure that they're being responsibly used and they're being regenerated and more oak is being planted than is being cut down. Okay, so lunch is a selection of all sorts of things. It's like a Middle East type thing. Um, some potatoes, some salads, some carrot with goat's cheese, some leaves, some chicken of sorts, and I'm not entirely sure what this is, a Vietnamese type thing with these little things to dip into. So yeah, it's just a good mix of a lot of different things, and then I've got a fizzy uh, lemon and lime. So this is lunch, and I'm gonna go and devour this. Good morning guys, it's Monday morning, it's my day off and I need to boot up the vlog. Um, basically ended the vlog on Tuesday, yeah I didn't do any more vlogging because it's really long anyway. So it's basically just a vlog of me up north, so I hope you enjoyed it, I think it's quite a good one and I really enjoyed editing it. Um, and yeah, I'm going to start vlogging again today so you'll get a more consistent view of my week this week. But yeah, sorry I sound so like grumpy, I've just woken up. But yeah, I'm going to pop this on the end of the vlog and I'm going to leave it here. So if you could give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, that would be fabulous. Um, and I will see you all very soon with another video. Um, it probably will be a weekly vlog next week. Um, but if not, there might be one before then. But yeah, thank you all for watching and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.